Hi, Hi, I'm Owen Bartolotta. Um, I go to University of Delaware and I study organization and community leadership. And I have ADHD with a capital H. And my name is Claire Fitzpatrick and I'm going to be a junior nursing student and I have dyslexia. In school, like, I clearly had a learning disability and I clearly struggled a lot and it was obvious to my classmates. Like I definitely stuck out and I would get extra time on things and I wouldn't have to take the spelling tests and do things like that because I, that's just something that I'm not capable of. So when I was growing up and what Claire just said, we almost felt like we were either um, not smart enough or, you know, not, um, almost as if like not normal enough for our teachers and their teaching abilities. And that almost made us feel like outcasts. When we're doing six months of the year in a school environment and we're supposed to have these expectations that we really can't meet because we're not on the same playing field, we almost, um, it we, just makes it more difficult. Exactly. It's just, it's hard when exactly. you're constantly in an area that you know isn't where you succeed the most and doesn't give you the most opportunity. Yep. It's hard to have to overcome that. You know, normal you really can't use anymore, especially for people with LDs and anything, because a normal is perspective. And you know, your normal might be different from mine, and I actually find that pretty quick that my teacher's normal was not me, and it was far from my normal too. But with the redirection and with the help that I had, we had some resources that really guided us through the middle school and the high school, you know, developmental years. But we're seeing and we still see that the middle schoolers now still don't have those tools, especially in um, underdeveloped communities and, you know, places where there's a lot of people for not enough help. And there's a lot of people just going under the radar and going through the system that aren't um, necessarily getting taken care of. I think one of the things that I didn't have at school was confidence. Inside the classroom, it takes a big toll when you don't have confidence. Confidence in yourself, confidence in your capabilities. And I want to be able to give these middle schoolers confidence that they can have in the classroom and take to extra, extracurricular activities and just take through life because that's a very important thing to have. Yeah, I mean, and honestly, like, Claire couldn't stress that enough. It's really all about the confidence. We really want to make that impact that they retain for the rest of their life, not for that week.